Hey everybody, it's March 4th, I believe, 2020, and I'm sitting in my office. See here, I got my lead sheets here, making some dials, setting up um, my next week here. I was out yesterday, ran, uh, I booked uh, on Thursday, I booked four appointments. Uh, I saw three people. One is uh, for tomorrow, which is Sunday. And uh, out of those three, I closed two apps. Didn't get an app on the first one, on uh, the second one I did, and the third one I did. So two apps to run around $2,900 and so and some change. And that was for about a one hour dialing session on Thursday that turned into four appointments. Like I said, three of my ran yesterday. But the top of this video really is how to not be broke during the uh, coronavirus pandemic, uh, COVID-19. Figured I'd do an impromptu uh, video talking to a few agents, uh, interviewing a few others, and the ones that are pressing in on the things that matter right now, which are the tried and true methods of, you know, getting leads, making dials, booking appointments, are uh, really doing well during this time of the uh, national shutdown in most, almost every state in the country right now. We have a um, stay-at-home work order. However, as you well know, that the insurance agents, underwriters, people like us, are uh, exempt from that order. So we're still working. And this is a time when I'm really blessed that we're in the insurance business for two reasons. One, that we're an exempt business. We can go out there and continue to do our job, support our families and um, build our businesses. And uh, while all others, I mean, there's millions of people. I saw the unemployment record or report yesterday was what, nearly 10 million people, uh, destined to be 20 million probably by the end of next week. And, uh, and we're still able to go out there and work. And in a situation like this, as you've heard me say before, uh, you know, life insurance is an event-based business. So uh, there's nothing like a pandemic to create an event that puts uh, life insurance on the first page of the uh, Google search engine. And I've been using that, by the way, in my conversations with my, kind of working in my script a little bit, uh, also, when I'm setting my online appointments that I've been doing, I'm setting up that third-party documentation to them to kind of open up their ears to the very limited window here before these insurance companies start uh, positively even shutting down offering uh, any type of uh, life insurance coverage uh, during this pandemic in certain key areas across the country that have been heavily hit by this uh coronavirus or COVID-19. And we're already seeing that this week. Some carriers came out and said that if you are diagnosed, if you are affected or even exposed, there's a 90 day or a waiting period. So you can already see that window closing in terms of people that already get affected. So use that when you're, when you're talking to people on the phone that I have a window opportunity here to get you uh, some coverage in place at the very day we meet. So, um, and you know, many of us are learning new methods. I kind of indicated just in that conversation I just had with you is that I'm learning new methods. You know, I've been face-to-face, -face, kneecap to kneecap, a life insurance agent all my life. And uh, I've, I, you've heard me, in fact, I've got a video on this channel, which I've been critical of telesales. And I've done some of that before, back in my uh, early days of, of being an agent. We did a limited amount of that on the phone. But this new telesales is web-based. Um, you know, I still have an issue with it on a wide-scale basis. The numbers are terrible. I don't, the persistency numbers are terrible on telesales because there's no relationship there. You're nothing more than someone calling them on the telephone. So it's very, very important that you do other things to hold up that business. And I can talk about those in some other videos that you can still build that relationship even though you're you're meeting on, on a telesales type of thing. But like I said, we're all learning uh, new methods uh, that's always good to add to our box of tools and you know to meet our prospects on their turf, basically, whatever level uh, that they're willing to meet us. And you know, right now it's uh, you know we can still do face to face, as I said, we're doing them. I prefer face to face, uh, regardless of where this industry goes. The non face to face telesales, I still want the majority of my business to be face to face because the uh, retention on that business is going to be far greater. However, right now we're able to do telesales, do web meetings, do zooms, whatever. But that's new for me. Uh, you know, and so I'm in a different situation after being around this business for a long time in order to be able to continue to support my family, teach my agents the method. And well, before I could teach it, I had to be able to do it. I've been doing it the last couple of days, forcing myself to do these uh, online Zoom telesales. Learning is a good thing for all of us. Even after this, this was gone, I expect to use this, this telesales uh, method um, forever. You know, as long as we're allowed to do it and the carriers allow us to do it, I would imagine that this is here to stay. And that though the carriers are going to be forced to come out with a lot of products, once you go down this road, you really can't, there's no way back. 
That being said, I still, my number one, even now, my number one option that I offer a client is to meet in their homes. And I was thinking, you know, why am I bothering uh, learning new things when I don't need the money necessarily? I can ride this storm out. I've got a good residual income base. That's why we do this. Right now, there is a tremendous amount of opportunity. The majority of people right now don't feel comfortable with face-to-face. -face. majority of my appointments are not face-to-face -face, even now because I make them feel very comfortable that I've taken the precautions before and after the appointment. We keep our social distance. Uh, I wear gloves. We get the mask. In fact, some of our agents have even taken their own stools in, which is fantastic. You can make them feel comfortable at a level where they'll meet with you. And again, I think they prefer that as well. So, but the ones that don't, we're getting that business now through the telesales method that we not, we would not otherwise have. But the bottom line is, is that this is a tremendous opportunity for us to go out and protect a lot of families. Make, because here's, here's the point. 50% of the folks in this country, they claim are going to get this virus. 3%, 3.5% are dying worldwide. And then in the United States, it's, 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 uh, it's less than that, but no one really knows. And you know, once they get diagnosed or once they get um, in, infected with the virus, they're, they're gonna be uninsurable for at least the near future. Um, and maybe ever, and they may possibly even die. So uh, we need to use that language when we're talking to people on the phone booking appointments you know, there's no thing, sense of urgency, fear of loss. Once you get infected or exposed, we may not be able to cover you uh, in the immediate future or maybe even ever. So uh, this is an opportunity where I'm going to be offering in-home appointments and I have a limited number of uh, online appointments. Which do you prefer? And that verbiage has really helped me book a lot more appointments and make more sales. So you kind of have to be creative right now. Uh, but here's the thing, our sales in the last two and a half to three weeks, leads are way up what they normally are, and our sales are way up too. So sitting on the sidelines right now, unless you really insist on doing that, probably is not a good thing. And I would ask you, if you're going to sit on the sidelines right now, why are you in this business? Because, you know, that we're in the business of helping people, and right now they need help more than now more than ever. And you could be that difference in them having any coverage at all in the event that they are passed, or they get infected, get the virus, and can't get any insurance, even if they were to survive. Here's the bottom line, I, and I've taught this before, is I have a bucket list, like many of you guys do, uh, that's not been completed. Uh, we are not rich. Fortunately, uh, I don't have to worry about our everyday security, but there are things that we still want to do and haven't accomplished. The reason why I'm learning new things is because I can't teach them to my agents. I can't tell them to go do them unless I'm doing them myself. I want to leave the front. I had that same feeling about everything, teaching uh, a new technique, uh, building an agency. I don't believe in this, as you know, this recruiting mentality where I'm, I'm just a recruiter. I'm, I'm a manager. I don't, I don't go sell insurance. Uh, I don't believe that at all. And so I always want to be the one out in front first uh, before I teach it. That's the first thing. The second thing is, is that uh, this is an opportunity to go out there and, and do very well, uh, protect a lot of families. And I believe that's what we're in this business for. The money is secondary. All of you have a certain amount of talent. You're born with it. If you tap into that potential, you'll do very well in this business. So look, here's the bottom line. Here's what I know to my core. If I was broke and I had a wife and a family that needed a roof over their head, I would stand on the street corner all day, every day, talking to people about life insurance, now more than ever with this current virus going on, and talk to people, find people, they would talk to me, and I would sell some life insurance, protect some families, and support mine. What I would not be doing is sitting around complaining and griping about the stay-at-home orders while my bank account was continually dwindling down and being depleted down to nothing when I was in full control of doing something about it. Control what you can control, folks. And listen, right now, you can control your activity. Mindset and activity is what it takes. And so COVID-19, pandemic, coronavirus, we're still right in business and so can you, but you've got to control the six years between you two years, know what you're fighting for and be determined to win in this world. Look, this world has plenty of quitters, okay? What we need is more winners that are willing to stand the gap, stay the course and do whatever it takes for as long as it takes to protect their families uh, and their futures. And right now, sitting by that window, looking out while everyone else is making more money right now, Here's the question you have to ask yourself is how many times can you allow good opportunities to pass by you and you do nothing about them? You know, mindset, as I said, you hear me talking about a lot is everything. 
control what you can control. If that is something that you agree with, consider joining our Agent Success Academy. The link will be down in the description here. There's handouts. We're going to be doing a, a big series on, um, you know, personal productivity, controlling the mindset, doing the activity. And, you know, it's a 30 day deal, right? So you want to be part of that. The link's in the button below. It's free, no charge. I don't charge for any training. If you want to go along with the journey with us and uh, learn how to control your mindset and take advantage of 2020, I recommend you join that. Uh, otherwise, appreciate you being here. Click the subscribe button below. Mash that bell for instant notifications. And thanks for being here. We'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.